There's been a bit of a battle going on in the tech world for nearly a decade. In one corner, we have Oracle, the company who owns the Java software platform. And in the other corner, we have the giant company, Google. The company is accused of using stolen code from Java in order to help build its operating system on Android smartphones. Google and Oracle have previously been duking it out in lower courts and even the Federal Court of Appeals, but now the Supreme Court of the United States is set to take the case. The case was supposed to take place in March, but has been postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. This copyright lawsuit has grabbed the tech world's attention. That's because it revolves around the nature of computer code and software and copyright law. Until recently, it was believed no one, or at least mostly believed that no one, could use copyright law to restrict the use of the type of code that Google used from Java, which is intended to promote interoperability of devices and programs. Early versions of the Android operating system made by Google used parts of Java programming languages, application programming interfaces, which are owned by Oracle. Oracle believes its application programming interfaces, which are also known as APIs, are protected under copyright law. Google has admitted to using parts of Java, but does claim its application of the APIs constituted fair use. Google believes non-copyrightability of this type of software programming code is necessary to ensure interoperability between computing devices and services. In essence, this case asks whether software programmers may copy functional names present in software code or the interface as long as they do not copy the underlying source code that implements the function. And it appears as if there are a few looming questions that will need to be addressed by the Supreme Court. First is, do copyright protections extend to a software interface and its building blocks? And did Google's use of a software interface, in this case Java's, in the context of creating a new computer program constitute fair use? The decision that eventually gets handed down could influence how future software and other computer technology develops, so people are watching this case very closely. So now that we've established a basic overview of the case at hand, it's important to understand exactly what Java is. Java is composed with several application programming interfaces, or APIs for short. Many computers, cell phones, gaming consoles, and data centers rely on Java to function effectively. So what is an API exactly? I could give a wordy definition, but who has time for that? I know I don't, and I don't think you do either. So, think of an API as a messenger that takes requests and tells a system what you want to do, and then returns the response from that system back to you. It's kind of a facilitator, if you will. Okay, we've briefly looked at what Java is, so let's delve into a little bit of history between Oracle and Google, which will shed a little bit more light on the Google versus Oracle case. JavaScript was a program developed by a company called Sun Microsystems in the early 1990s. It was a huge success, letting users interact with websites in new ways and adding several new dimensions to web functionality. Fast forward to the mid-2000s, where Google was working on getting into the mobile business with its recent acquisition of the Android operating system. Google actually attempted to work out an open-source license with Sun to implement Java into Android, but negotiations eventually fell through, and Google decided to use parts of the Java code anyway with its own implementation. When Sun Microsystems was bought by Oracle in 2010, that's when the litigation began, and Google was slapped with the lawsuit. So, as for the feud, it's been going on for a long time. Oracle has claimed for years that Google's Android operating system is built on stolen code from the Java software platform, and Google argues that it fairly developed its own alternative to Java code. 
All the parties here were hoping a court case could settle the issue, and that hasn't been the case yet. And it hasn't just been one case that has failed to settle the matter, it has been a series of back and forth between lower courts and the Federal Circuit Court of Appeals. You see, lower courts have sided with Google, but the Federal Circuit Court of Appeals has overturned their decisions multiple times. It's concluded that companies can copyright API packages which are vital to making different software programs work together and prevent other companies from using them commercially without a license. The most recent decision by the Federal Circuit Court of Appeals came in 2018. That's when it ruled that Google made non-fair use of Java's APIs. Google petitioned the Supreme Court in January of 2019, asking it to overturn what it called a quote, devastating one-two punch at the software industry. But Oracle has stated, quote, no company will make the enormous investment required to launch a groundbreaking work like Java SE if this court declares that a competitor may copy it precisely because it is appealing. Defending Google are Microsoft, Mozilla, and several other companies arguing that the Federal Circuit ruling would destroy developers' ability to freely build new programs that work with existing software platforms. In his article in the Emory Law Journal, Alexander Northover writes, Programmers fear that the ruling in Oracle vs. Google will have sweeping negative implications on software tech startup companies. Clark Assay has also contributed to the Emory Law Journal, contending that interoperability needs in today's world necessitates sharing and reuse. He also believes that copyright law as it exists with computer software is becoming less persuasive as being acceptable. Oracle believes fears of interoperability, if it wins this upcoming case, are irrelevant. If the Supreme Court lets the appellate level court's latest decision stand, when it does take up the case, Oracle will be victorious and Google will face undetermined damages. Until then, the tech world will anxiously wait for the showdown and for a decision that will likely have huge implications on the software industry for many years to come.